Welcome to Wednesday Shine at Trinity Lutheran Church. We are glad that you are joining us. Throughout this entire month, we have been talking about initiative, God's initiative for us and giving us grace and forgiveness, and then God's call for us to use our initiative to see what needs to be done in the world and then doing it, to look for ways to make things right and to stay focused on what needs to be done. Today, we are going to talk about celebrating. What are some of the things that you do when you celebrate? Do you throw a party? Do you uh, run around with your hands in the air and, and say, hallelujah? Those are all fun ways to celebrate. When we do what needs to be done, it's always great to take time to celebrate those things. Like, for example, I happen to have a fun-looking donut right here, and I am excited to celebrate with you all of the ways that we've learned about God's initiative for us over these past few weeks. Today, you're going to have the opportunity to hear the story of Ezra. Ezra followed Nehemiah in the Old Testament, and Ezra took the opportunity to celebrate all of the things that God's people had done as they rebuilt the wall of Jerusalem. And Ezra wanted to take that moment to celebrate, and he instituted a holiday called the Festival of Booths, a holiday that's still observed today. So I'm excited for you to hear this story of Ezra, to do some dancing as we make a move for God, and uh, to celebrate the awesome things that God has done in our lives. So enjoy Wednesday Shine. The Bible, it's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how he created us and loves us so much that he made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story. Inspired by the book of Nehemiah, chapters 3, 4, 6, and 8. Nehemiah grinned as the new gates to the main entrance of the city of Jerusalem swung open for the first time. Less than two months before, Nehemiah had arrived in Jerusalem and taken a trip by night around the city's ruined walls. All the work that needed to be done seemed impossible, but with God's help, he managed to rally all the Jewish people in the city. Let's rebuild! Though the workers faced taunts from outside, <laughs> If a fox set foot on that wall, he'd fall down. <laughs> and trouble from within. We're starving. Our own relatives are charging high interest to loan us money for food. Nehemiah and the Jewish people stayed focused on the task at hand. Now, the wall of Jerusalem had lay in ruins for over a hundred years, and the workers were a ragtag group of farmers and priests and goldsmiths. But in just 52 days... God had helped them rebuild the entire wall of Jerusalem, including the towers and the gates. Their enemies were, um, let's just say, uh, less than pleased. Well, rats. The Jews in Jerusalem were no longer open to attack. Once again, they could feel safe and grow strong. Nehemiah knew the reason for their success. God has helped us finish the work now that we have a safe place, we'll honor God by reading his law. A short time later, Nehemiah called all the people together. Men, women, and children gathered by the water gate at sunrise to hear the prophet Ezra read God's word. The Lord is the great God. Amen! 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 Amen. Amen. Everyone bowed down, faces to the ground, praising God for all he had done for them. Ezra read God's word until lunchtime, and the Levites taught the people what God's laws meant. We haven't followed God's rules. We haven't done a good job of loving God and loving others. I've been mean to my little sister. Mothers and fathers, boys and girls began to weep when they all realized just how far they had wandered from God. But Ezra encouraged them. This day is set apart to honor the Lord your God. So don't weep, don't be sad. 
Nehemiah called out over the crowd, Go and enjoy some good food and sweet drinks. Send some of it to people who don't have any. This day is holy to our Lord, so don't be sad. The joy of the Lord makes you strong. Yeah, party time! Tears turned to laughter when people realized it was time to celebrate one of God's feasts, Sukkot. Sukkot? What's that? The Feast of Booths. It's a way to remember how God took care of our people in the wilderness after he led them out of slavery in Egypt. Everyone lived in tents and booths. I want to make a booth. We need to go out and collect olive branches and build shelters to live in during the feast. All the people went into the hill country. They cut branches from olive, myrtle, palm trees, and brought them back into the city. There, they built shelters everywhere, on rooftops, before the gates, even in the courtyard of God's temple. We get to sleep outside? This is awesome! Everybody lived in those shelters for an entire week while they celebrated what God had done for them. Woohoo! The people were filled with joy as they were reconnected with the God who loved them so deeply. In fact, the Israelites had not celebrated the Feast of Booths like this in hundreds of years. Not since Joshua led our people into the Promised Land. Each day, Ezra read more of God's laws to them, and the people began to understand all that God had planned for them. Help me, God, to see what you see. You are doing a great work in me I've decided I can't stand still No, you have given me purpose All my, all my heart is yours All my, all my life is yours I will, I will make a move for you Wasn't that amazing? It was cool to see all of the ways that God used Ezra to help the people of God celebrate the accomplishments that they had done. So again, when we respond to God's initiative with our own initiative, we can see what needs to be done and do it. 
We can look for ways to make things right. We can stay focused on what needs to be done. And when those things are done, we can celebrate all that we have done with God's help. So let's pray together. Dear God, we give you thanks for your call for us to do what needs to be done in this world. When we accomplish our tasks, help us to recognize the things that we have done with your help and allow us to celebrate, to praise you and to give you thanks for all the good things you have given us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us at Wednesday Shine, and we'll see you next week.